Hey guys, this is Eclipse Gaming KSP, and I am back with a challenge that was submitted by one of my friends at school. Um, my goal was to build a launcher that could transport a satellite to orbit using smart parts as the only form of control. You can see them right there. The only things I'm allowed to do are before lifting off the ground. That's it. Nothing else after that. I have to let smart parts do the whole thing. So, anyway, yeah. Enjoy the flight. Here we are on the launch pad. Go ahead and uh, set the SAS to the right thing. And, um, okay, I think we're ready. And that's it. That's the last key I'm allowed to hit during the flight, that one space. So, see? You can see our gravity turn begins early because there's no other way to do it. Um, everything's going well right now. Or at least everything I can see is going well right now. You can see is a four-stage rocket. All four stages are solid fueled. You can see it's wiggling a little. It used to be really, really bad during like five generations ago before I put struts on. Um, this is the first flight I'm actually going to do to try to get it to orbit. The only other flights have made it to like 10,000 feet, and they were just testing to see what how um aerodynamics of the vehicle were early in the atmosphere. But, um, yeah. Engine's burning. You can see these smart parts up there that, um, are on the fourth stage. Engine burnout. And, okay, we have separation and ignition of the second stage. And, wow, re-entry fix going on there. Um, um, so, we're already pretty flat. You can see that docking port up there, there's a glowing red now. The only modded part other than these smart parts is that one solid rocket booster that's burning right now. Um, I modded that myself because I needed a half meter part like that. But anyway, that was the last burn we're going to do until we get up to the apoapsis when we're going to fire the last two stages to put us into orbit, hopefully. Assuming everything goes according to plan. Um... Look at that, we're accidentally lined up almost perfectly there. I'm surprised this is working as well as it is. I mean, I've done no input so far. No input at all. And, um, it is still following the 90 degree trajectory. And, um, on a nice suborbital arc there. And it looks like this might go pretty well. So... You can see there, we have 140 seconds remaining on that smart part. There's, so while we wait, there's a few things I need to tell you. First of all, I am holding a competition to see who can make the best flag for me in the game. Just like a general flag for Eclipse Gaming KSP, please, you know, submit your stuff wherever and send me a link. That would be awesome. So yeah. That's that one thing. Also, um, in regards to the open source space program, an episode of that will be coming up soon. I am working on it as I speak right now. Well, not as I speak because I'm busy recording audio for a video, but um, you, you know what I mean. So anyway, yeah, we are out of the atmosphere by far now and uh, getting up towards the apoapsis here in just a minute. I think I have the smart part timed correctly. I think I did my math right. I literally have like a page and a half of math where I did to try and time it correctly. But yeah, it might be a little off. I don't know. It was basic orbital mechanics. Okay, 100 kilometers. Still a little over a minute away from the apoapsis. The reason I have fins on this stage still is because those were the like, I, I needed those to get out of the atmosphere and stuff. The fins held the trajectory to the velocity vector. All right, we are still going, still going strong here. All the smart parts that are being used currently, or that have been used, glow red. Um, so yeah, that can tell you how it's working, kind of. So yeah, the um, third stage should be burning fairly soon. It's got four separatrons, 
but they've been I, I, I tweaked them around I uh, made the thrust lower as you will see up here they burn for a little while longer that way and then two of the same tweaked separatrons are on the fourth stage which also houses the control um, so, okay, we have third stage ignition there. That was kind of loud, but I don't think you'll go deaf. Okay, this is going pretty slowly. I don't know if it'll work. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed, that's all. Okay. Stage three burnout, and okay, we have ignition of the fourth stage. Oh, this is looking good. We might just do it. Um, okay, still burning, and we have an orbit, 102 by 120, not bad, not great, but definitely not bad, considering there was no control input after I hit the space bar to begin with. So yeah, that concludes this challenge, if you have any other challenges for me, please leave them in the comments below, and um... Yeah, thank you for watching, and, um, yeah, you see some random scientific instruments there. So, yeah, if you have any more challenges, just submit them in the comments. Um, other than that, I've been Eclipse Gaming KSP, and until next time, explode responsibly.